For nearly 130 years, scientists couldn't figure out where this bizarre circular saw belonged on one of the ocean's most terrifying predators. Some thought it jutted out from the snout like a chainsaw. Others believed it hung from the throat like a deadly pendulum. A few even suggested it was purely for display, like a peacock's tail made of razor sharp teeth. Then in 2013, CT scan technology applied to a single specimen from Idaho finally solved the mystery of Helicoprion's tooth whirl, revealing a feeding mechanism so efficient and terrifying that it redefined everything we thought we knew about prehistoric ocean predators. The confusion began with the very first discoveries in the late 1800s. Um, the first specimen of what would become known as Helicoprion was actually discovered in Western Australia in 1886, though it was initially mistaken for the related genus Edestus. When Russian geologist Alexander Karpinsky encountered similar fossils in 1899, he made an extraordinary discovery that would baffle the scientific community for over a century. The strange spiral structure resembled a coiled shell, leading Karpinski to initially classify it as belonging to an ammonite, a type of extinct mollusk. He named the creature Helicoprion, meaning spiral saw, though he had no idea he was actually looking at the remains of an ancient shark-like fish. The fossil consisted entirely of a tightly wound spiral made of dozens of sharp curved teeth but no other skeletal material accompanied it. This lack of associated bones created an immediate problem for paleontologists trying to understand what Helicoprion actually looked like. The tooth whirl stood alone as the only evidence of this creature's existence, leaving scientists to construct wildly different interpretations of its anatomy. Some researchers proposed that the spiral protruded from the creature's snout like a circular saw, creating a fearsome cutting weapon. Others, including Oliver Hay, initially suggested the whirls might be defensive spines located on the pectoral or caudal fins. Early researchers like Eastman even considered them part of an armoured shell structure. Early 20th century paleontologists developed increasingly creative reconstructions as more tooth whirls surfaced in fossil beds across Russia, North America and Australia. Each new fossil discovery seemed to complicate matters rather than clarify them. The tooth whirls varied in size and spiral tightness, but they consistently lacked any accompanying skeletal remains that could provide anatomical context. The fundamental challenge lay in reconstructing a cartilaginous skeleton from isolated dental elements. Unlike bone cartilage, rarely fossilizes leaving massive gaps in the fossil record. However, the mystery was largely self-inflicted. Overzealous preparation by fossil collectors who were primarily interested in the beautiful spiral teeth meant that valuable jaw material was often chiseled away and discarded. Research suggests that as many as one in 15 fossils actually contained preserved jaw material, but this crucial evidence was systematically destroyed by experts focused solely on extracting the spectacular tooth whirls. For over a century, Helicoprion remained one of paleontology's greatest enigmas, with each proposed solution raising new questions about this mysterious predator. The breakthrough would finally come when scientists applied cutting-edge technology to a single carefully preserved specimen. Leif Tapanila and his research team at the Idaho Museum of Natural History faced a daunting challenge when they acquired specimen IMNH 37899 in 2013. The fossil contained one of the most complete Helicoprion tooth whirls ever discovered, but like all previous specimens, it offered no clear answers about the creature's anatomy. Traditional paleontological methods had reached their limits, so the team decided to employ high-resolution computed tomography scanning technology that had never before been used on these enigmatic fossils. This CT scanner revealed anatomical details that completely overturned every reconstruction attempt made during the previous century. Rather than protruding from the snout or hanging externally from the jaw, the tooth whirl sat entirely within the lower jaw structure anchored firmly along the midline. 
The upper jaw contained no conventional teeth whatsoever, but instead housed a pavement of small rounded teeth arranged in a sheath-like pocket. This discovery immediately ruled out all existing theories about external placement or typical dual jaw feeding mechanisms. The scans exposed an intricate internal architecture that had remained hidden for over 100 years. Meckel's cartilage served as the primary structural foundation for the lower jaw, while specialized labial cartilage structures buttressed and stabilized the tooth world. The entire spiral mechanism was encased within protective soft tissue that would have completely concealed it from view during the animal's lifetime. This internal placement represented a radical departure from any known feeding system in modern or extinct cartilaginous fish. Perhaps most significantly, the anatomical evidence revealed an autodiastylic jaw suspension system that allowed the tooth whorl to function as a rotating cutting mechanism. The CT data showed that Helicoprion belonged to the holocephalid lineage, positioning it as a relative of modern Chimeras or ratfish rather than true sharks. While its tooth structure appeared shark-like the jaw suspension system and lack of a hyomandibular firmly linked it to the Chimera evolutionary branch. The fossil evidence demonstrated that Helicoprion had evolved a feeding mechanism unlike anything seen before or since in vertebrate evolution. The creature represented a completely unique evolutionary experiment in dental morphology with the tooth whorl functioning as an internal biological machine rather than an external weapon. With these anatomical revelations in hand, scientists could finally begin piecing together the mechanical operation of this extraordinary predatory system. The tooth whorl operated as a sophisticated biological meat slicer, employing a precise slice and rotate mechanism that represented one of the most advanced feeding systems ever evolved by a vertebrate predator. When Helicoprion opened its massive jaws to engulf prey, the tooth whorl sat in a neutral position within the lower jaw cavity. As the jaws began to close, the symphyseal joint triggered the whorl to rotate backward along a controlled arc, bringing the sharp cutting edges into contact with whatever unfortunate creature had been captured. The rotation continued as the jaws clamped shut, creating a powerful slicing action that could cut through even the toughest cephalopod mantles and shells. The jaw closure created what biomechanical analysis reveals as an inverted three-point flexural test system. This mechanism trapped soft parts of prey against the upper jaw's tooth pavement while the rotating whorl sliced from below, dramatically increasing cutting efficiency. For hard-shelled prey like ammonites, the system functioned as more than just a meat slicer. It operated as a specialized shucking tool that could grab the soft body and pull it directly out of the shell head on essentially de-shelling the prey in a single fluid motion. Unlike modern sharks that continuously shed and replace their teeth, Helicoprion retained every single tooth it ever produced throughout its entire lifetime. The growth pattern functioned like a conveyor belt system with new larger teeth added at the back of the whorl, pushing older, smaller teeth forward into an increasingly tight spiral deep inside the jaw. This remarkable arrangement meant the animal literally swallowed its own baby teeth into its jaw base as it grew, while the sharpest, most effective cutting teeth remained at the outer edge where they could inflict maximum damage. Fossil evidence supports this slicing behavior through distinctive wear patterns found on preserved tooth whorls. The outer teeth show characteristic scratches and polish marks consistent with cutting through hard surfaces, while the inner teeth display minimal wear from their reduced role in the feeding process. This specialized feeding approach allowed Helicoprion to exploit a specific ecological niche and establish itself as the dominant marine predator of the Permian period. However, even the most successful evolutionary adaptations would soon face their ultimate test. The end Permian mass extinction struck 252 million years ago with unprecedented fury wiping out 96% of all marine species in what scientists now call the Great Dying. 
This catastrophic event originated from massive volcanic eruptions in what is now Siberia, releasing enormous quantities of carbon dioxide and toxic gases into the atmosphere. The volcanic activity triggered a cascade of environmental disasters, including severe ocean acidification, dramatic temperature increases, and the complete collapse of marine food webs that had sustained life for millions of years. For a large specialized predator like Helicoprion survival seemed virtually impossible. The creature's sophisticated feeding mechanism had evolved specifically to process cephalopods like ammonoids and nautiloids, but these very prey species were among the hardest hit by the extinction event. Ocean acidification dissolved the calcium carbonate shells that protected these creatures while rising temperatures disrupted their reproductive cycles. The massive size of adult helicoprion, reaching up to 26 feet in length and comparable to a modern basking shark, meant they required enormous amounts of food to maintain their metabolism during a time when prey had become critically scarce. The specialized nature of helicoprion's feeding apparatus initially appeared to be a fatal disadvantage during the crisis. While generalist feeders could switch to alternative food sources, the elaborate tooth whirl mechanism was perfectly adapted for one specific hunting strategy. The creature couldn't simply change its diet when its preferred prey disappeared from the fossil record. Yet somehow, against all odds, helicoprion populations managed to persist through the worst extinction event in Earth's history when countless other apex predators vanished forever. The early Triassic period brought new challenges that would ultimately prove insurmountable for these ancient survivors. Marine reptiles like early ichthyosaurs began evolving in the recovering ocean ecosystems, creating direct competition for the remaining cephalopod populations. More significantly, oceanic biodiversity shifted as Neopterygians or bony fish began to dominate niches previously occupied by the soft-bodied animals Helicoprion was built to eat. These emerging predators possessed greater agility and more versatile feeding strategies than the lumbering Helicoprion. The gradual decline of ammonoid diversity during the early Triassic period sealed Helicoprion's fate. This specialized biting strategy along the midline had worked perfectly when the seas teemed with squids and ammonites, but it represented such a dead end lineage that it could never evolve again once those ecosystems collapsed. The same evolutionary specialization that had made Helicoprion the dominant marine predator of the Permian ultimately led to its extinction, revealing how even the most remarkable adaptations can become evolutionary traps. Today, scientists understand that Helicoprion's tooth whirl wasn't just a weapon, but a meticulous biological record of the animal's entire life, preserving every tooth from birth to death in a spiral timeline. This ancient predator evolved one of the most sophisticated feeding mechanisms in vertebrate history, allowing it to dominate Permian oceans for millions of years. The same specialization that made it an apex predator ultimately sealed its fate when ecosystems shifted fundamentally after the great dying. The century-long scientific mystery surrounding Helicoprion highlights how technological advances continue to reshape our understanding of prehistoric life. Modern CT scanning technology solved a puzzle that had stumped researchers since 1899, revealing anatomical secrets hidden within fossilized tooth whirls. Which other lost prehistoric anatomy do you think technology will solve? Next comment below with your predictions about creatures like the frilled shark or Stethacanthus with its anvil-shaped fins.